Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to OMSI 2, the Yorkshire Counties map. Today we're sat here in the Veiling B8RLE down at Waves Wavesworth Interchange. Flipping hell, that's a mouthful at this time in the morning. Wavesworth Interchange and we're going to run an 83A service from Wavesworth all the way through to Stratton. Or so we think. Anyway... Now, uh, this route's approximately 15, 16 minutes in length. Uh, it doesn't go all the way to Stratton. Uh, I'm assuming that that's how we're, uh, that's how we're pronouncing that. Uh, it does turn back early, and uh, we'll get into that more in due course. Oh, look, there's a tram. Hello to you. Uh, now what we'll do, let's get it on the, uh, let's get it on the, uh, on the front of the bus so that everyone knows where we're going. 83, 83, 83. Can anyone see it? 83A waves with. Uh, 83A Westfield Police HQ 283. <coughs> now, I must apologise. Uh, still dealing with a flipping cold. Only just got over the flipping thing, but uh, another one appears to be here to uh, to ruin my life. Right, there we go. Handbrake's on. Let's get the door open. And uh, logged into the ticket machine Judy? before they all start kicking Judy? off at me. 392. There we go. Great, right, our kid. Now then, lad, how's it going? Hiya, driver. Now, weirdly enough, there's an 83A, but there doesn't appear to be an 83 uh, on on this route. So, uh, you know, that, that you'd have thought that there would have been an 83 if there's an 83A, wouldn't you? But I'm sure that there's uh, there's reasons for that. I mean, it comes with this striking yellow line branding. It has to be said, I think that, that the, the branding... <laughs> excuse me... <coughs> The, uh, I think that the brandings work really well on this. I really like the Yorkshire Counties 3 livery uh, for Yorkshire Terrier on this bus. The brandings work so well. Uh, is that a branded one? No, it's not. No, that one isn't either. Are there any other uh, any other branded ones in the bus station? No, there are not. I can't show you any of the others. But basically, this, uh, this yellow line, you've got a red line, a green line, a blue line. And it just really, really works. I, whoever came up with the livery, I do congratulate you. I think it's really good. It's kind of got this first group style thing going on here, like the uh, like the old Barbie, uh, sort of like waves. It's 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 really nice actually. And to be fair, I'm not a lover of grey on a bus, but it seems to work. Anyway, that is enough waffle. Let's get underway. We'll get those doors shut. We don't need lights on because it's not night time. Off we go. Full steam ahead. Uh, now, you will notice the next stop announcements, I don't think they're going to play. Uh, I have actually switched them off. Um, the next from where? Stop oh no. Wavesworth College. Right, okay, that will explain it. I, uh, I did switch them off, and there's been an update, which has, uh, which has switched them back on again. So I'll need to go and switch them off again before the next video. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's nothing personal against the next stop announcements. I just, you know, I mentioned in the last video, uh, if you didn't watch that, go back and watch that. It's brilliant. It's a first look video, uh, so of course it's a must see. Um, <coughs> where I'm from in the world, there aren't any next stop announcements. You know, round Huddersfield, Halifax. The buses are just like you know, there are no next stop announcements. You're required to pay attention, and uh, it it seems a very it doesn't feel a very Yorkshire thing having next stop announcements. Like I've not been on the bus in Sheffield and Doncaster and obviously this is based around South Yorkshire hence why oh my god what's happening here with the traffic we have a problem we uh, yeah there uh, yeah buses can't get into the bus station and the uh, the thing that's worse is that Joe now can't get out of the bus station Well, we can. There we go. So, of course, you've got Hullies of Baslow. It's no secret that uh, the map designer slash creator, Sila, is from South Yorkshire. Um, you know, so that's kind of where I imagine that I am driving right now. Uh, I didn't even know they had next stop announcements. So, you know, maybe they do, maybe they don't. I've not been on a bus there in a long time. But it just doesn't feel Yorkshire to me to have the next stop announcements. Uh, so I always switch them. Um, you know... D just personal preference, you might like them. Um, I also didn't particularly enjoy, uh, you know, like when uh, when we when we were on the the other route, the route 17, and uh, they've actually. It's not a random event. I thought it was a random event, but it's not a random event. When you get to uh, what's that place beginning with I? I've forgotten. You know the one, Ingleborough. 
When you get to Ingleborough Town Centre, oh, it's letting me out, excuse me, coughing fit. Thanks for that, love. <coughs> we'll give him a double blast on the hazard lights to say thank you. Uh, yeah, when we, uh, when you get to Ingleborough, it will play an announcement every single time saying that there's a lost child, he might be on your bus, he's got red shorts on and he's obsessed with buses, he might have boarded your vehicle, and it happens every single time. You know, if it was a one-off, then I'd be like, oh, that's a nifty little feature, but it happens every time, and I just find it a bit annoying. So, there you go, that's my rant about next stop announcements. Uh, there's been another couple of updates, one of the big updates, and uh, it really did wind me up, this one. Look at the mirror. I mean, the, the mirror, you can see a lot more of the bus in. If you go back to the last video, you'll notice you couldn't see as much of the bus in. Um, Josh, who is a, uh, who, who is, who is a, uh, yeah, I could say a lot of things, actually. So, no, he's a good friend. Uh, Josh, who uh, is one of the masterminds behind Studio Polygon, uh, is absolutely amazing at designing buses and making buses for Omsi. Uh, it doesn't appear to be good at driving them, uh, because he couldn't cope with the fact you could only see a sliver of the bus in the mirror. Uh, so the uh, the creators from Master Switch, uh, are, uh, yeah, they've uh, they've sorted it. Uh, so now you can see more of the bus. I mean, I can I can drive it like that as well. You know what I mean? It's either either. But uh, yeah, he was he was whinging about that last night, and it appears to have been sorted in an update. Now, uh, I don't know if there's more things, actually. I didn't see, uh, like, a, a big long list. Perhaps there has been, uh, you know, with all the updates on. If you, uh, you know, if you know where that list is, please post a link to it in the description. Uh, but I am hoping that this is a map that's going to keep receiving updates. Uh, I'm, I'm in for payware. I'm hoping that every now and then we might see a new route. You know, oh, look, there's a new route on board that goes somewhere completely different. Uh, that that'd be nice, wouldn't it? You know, just, just. Uh, oh, hey guys, thanks for playing Yorkshire Counties. Here's a new route. Whoa, hey! Uh, it'd be quite nice to see a Hullies of Baslow route that the player can actually drive. Um, that'd be pretty awesome because uh, they are just AI buses, as far as I'm aware. Uh, there's no actual playable Hullies of Baslow routes. Uh, there's quite a few first routes as well, but you can only drive the 17. But it's really nice to see that there are AI routes that you can't drive. Because uh, otherwise a map can seem pretty empty, can't it? Um, I know that in London, uh, Omsi Add on London, they only actually featured at the beginning the routes that the player could drive. And it's like there seems to be a distinct absence of uh, of London buses here. Other than the Route 2, now that really irritated me. That was always present and you could never drive the flipping thing. It has to be said, this uh, this Yorkshire County's veiling has taken over as uh, as one of my favourite buses to drive. I mean, it's it is it's, it's the first full length uh, 12 metre single deck, heavy duty single deck we've ever seen on OMSI 2, isn't it for the UK market anyway? And uh, I mean, we've got the Citaro, but it's not quite the same uh, payware quality as what we're experiencing here. The physics on this are absolutely fantastic, and it really does excite me for the uh, for the veiling pack. Uh, that can't come soon enough now that uh, now that Yorkshire Countess is released. I think we've gotten an excellent taste for what's to come. Uh, you know, it's it's fantastic. Really do enjoy driving it. Still not quite got used to the length. Oh, hang on, bus stops here for the tram stop, isn't it? There we go. Ah, so we don't actually stop at the tram platform. Though the curb for the tram platform is the Hello, same man. height as the bus oh, platform, so. If Lovely. you actually look, the uh, let's, let's go down. Yeah, the, the curb for the tram platform is the exact same height as the curb. So why we don't? Uh, oh no, hang on, it might be a little bit high. Oh no, it's it's a smidge higher. My uh, my apologies. I still don't see a reason you can't stop a bus on there, but you know, it just adds to the map, doesn't it? I suppose. Right, moving swiftly onwards. The next stop is Hillsick Corner. I really do like the uh, the fact that the trams are incorporated. Um, it's a shame that he, he's using, I think it's a model of a Croydon tram, 
Uh, I'm liking the fact that wires actually bend around the corners as well. I've never seen uh, overhead electric wires that can bend around corners, but Yorkshire counties, they seem to have made it possible. Look at that, bending around corners. Fantastic. Oh dear, comical. Um, but yeah, the, uh, it's a shame he couldn't have got like a model of the uh, the Sheffield Super Tram. Obviously, it's sticking with the Yorkshire theme. That would have... <laughs> excuse me. Choking to death. Great, our kid. I promise if I am going to die, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try and die quietly. Uh, yeah, it would have been fantastic if he could have got a model of the uh, of the Jewel Wag Super Tram from Sheffield. That would have been pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Um, I'm sure that there's the reasons he couldn't, um, but, you know, it would have been pretty awesome if he could. Maybe in a future a future the update, who knows. See, I would be absolutely fantastic at, uh, you know, at, at mapping. I, re I, I often say this, I would be brilliant at mapping. Uh, oh, let's have a look, there's another bus coming the other way. Right, what is it, what is it? Ah, there we go, so if I pause, that's a, that's a unibus one. Uh, let's flip outside, and, and look at that branding, that's absolutely gorgeous. Do you not think? I really, really like that. This could actually be a real... <laughs> I like that. The university bus anyone can use because, of course, it's OMSI and anyone will use it except university students. But yeah, that branding is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I would not, you know, I, I could, would happily submit that to a proper bus company and, uh, you know, that they could use. I, I think it looks really professional. Now, we're going over a bridge here, over a river. And, uh, and I would like to see a bit more, you know, a bit more clutter on here. And, uh, and then when we get here, there's kind of this big arc. And I don't really know why. If, it's, if it is where, where I think it is. Hang on, we'll, uh, we'll focus on driving because we're getting a bit behind schedule. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else where the arc is. Heck, the next stop's Norburn Road. I think I might be thinking of somewhere else where the big arc is. Uh, but like, you see here, there's the grass, there's the fence, this is lovely. You know, this is a nice clutter amount. Uh, whereas just by that bridge, it just feels a little bit lacking. I think we could mud on the road, oh, flipping neck. We'll have to be careful then, won't we? Uh, yeah, just like, like this field here, just a, a couple of extra long tufts of grass just to bring it to life. Um, it, it is done particularly well in the Arcala map when you're between, uh, oh, there's another 83A. Hello, my colleague. It is done particularly well in the Arcala map uh, between uh, Bury and, uh, well, that kind of country, rural area. Uh, I, you know, a little bit of long grass on here just to, just to break up the long monotonous. Uh, I think that would be brilliant. But yeah, I, I've said it before and I've said it again. Flipping heck, that's big writing on that petrol station. Um, one, uh, £1.11 a litre, you can't fault that, can you? I mean, it's like £1.50 at the minute. It cost me an absolute fortune to fill up my mini. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I think I'd be pretty good at mapping because I've, I've got a lot of good ideas. Uh, the problem where I fall down is uh, the fact that I just don't have the time slash the patience to do it. So my, my head, my head, my, uh, my, my uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. My, my hands really do go out. No. I, I congratulate map makers when they do actually get a map release because it must take so much time and effort. Oh, that's a bit of curb. Way there we go. It must take so much time and effort, and there must be so many times when you see. Look at this on the left. That's lovely. Weeds, different bits of flowers in between, just to break it up. Uh, you see the Yorkshire County's purple flowers uh, from the Yorkshire County's 2.0 map, where you know I said, I've never seen so many purple flowers in all my life, but I'm glad that the purple flowers are here because I don't think it would be Yorkshire Counties if it didn't have them. You know, love it. Love it. But again, just a, a little bit, you see, why is this grass so well mown? Uh, I don't, you know, there's nobody's house around, I don't think it would be as well mown. Oh, hang on, here we go, slow down. A little bit of lag is, uh, is not helping the old brake in there. Are you love? <coughs> Sorry, my voice is terrible. Weekly ticket, love, is it? Are we not speaking today? Am I just guessing? Yeah, Good job I've got me uh, red writing above, isn't it? Now, is that the... Uh, oh, that looks like the Yorkshire Terrier Depot over there. 
There's a few buses uh, parked mm -hmm. up. It'd be nice if uh, a couple of the static buses were uh, were branded as well, because obviously there's a lot of branded buses. Uh, in the depots, you see... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. In the depots, they're all unbranded, and on the roads, they're all branded. Um, it'd be nice if there was just one or two unbranded ones on the road. There might be. Maybe I've just not noticed it. Uh, but... Uh, couple of branded ones in the depot just to uh, just to mix it up a little bit seven eight to change love thank you driver there we go but yeah I'm really i really uh, 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 it's it's a fantastic map, is Yorkshire Counties. Uh, do I think it's worth? Okay, oh. so due to RTC and subsequent fatality, all uh, service eight three eight mobiles are to terminate at Westfield Police Headquarters. Um, you will go down to Westfield Roundabout and you turn back to the police station to resume your services to wait for the change. Um, please, when you're standing at the police station, please can you turn off your engines to avoid the complaints from the residents? As we are getting quite a few of those. Um, to confirm. Okay, don't so much mind that. Um, you know, there's been an incident. Um, does it need to be said that it's a fatality? I think that's lacking a little bit of taste. Um, I think I don't think the police would confirm to Yorkshire County's bus company. Um, Yorkshire Terrier, that it's a fatality. I think over the over the announcement, they will probably or over the radio, they will probably just say due to a road traffic incident. Uh, I, I think a fatality is perhaps. I think that's a very poor choice for an announcement. Uh, that's another reason I normally switch them off. Um, yeah, I think that's a very poor choice. Now I don't object to that plane every single time because obviously. Uh, the route, the 83A, is not done to uh, to Stratton. So, of course, I don't object to that announcement. Look, guys, route's terminating early. There's been a collision. We can't get through. You know, great. Okay. Um, I do object to saying there's been a fatality. I mean, come on, guys. You can do better than that. Just a road traffic collision will suffice. Don't need to be said it's a fatality. You know? Don't like that. I think that needs to be changed. But, uh, but yeah, as for the routes to... Oh, hang on, no, you don't need to indicate around here, you nana. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, it... I mean, uh, as an addition later on in the map, maybe the 83A could actually be extended all the way to Stratham. You know, that'd be quite nice. You know, I was saying earlier, maybe at some point we could have new routes extend the 83A to Stratham. Add an 83 that goes a slightly different way uh, of the same route, get them working with each other like every... Fifth, every half an hour, but they work together to make every 15 minutes. Now, what level crossing is this? An actual railway? Oh, it is. This isn't a tram. This is a real train <laughs> with a very low platform. Flipping heck. Ah, very nice. Redwood Station. Just a single, please, mate. Da, 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 just a single 57 to 80. Lovely. Cheers. Are you letting me out? It does not appear you are. How rude. Well, we're going now. Thanks for that, Mr. Range Rover. There we go. We'll give him a, a double flash on the uh, on the hazard lights. The next stop is Smithy Lane. Okay, I, again, I think that's completely unnecessary. Um, in his first kind of little call, he did say that 83A uh, is the bus that's terminating short. He didn't mention any other buses, and uh, 
there's only two 83As on this run today. Uh, the other 83A we passed earlier, if you remember. So uh, he says, oh, there's buses that keep going down there. Uh, there's not, because there hasn't been one uh, since he came down. Uh, you know, so again, I think it's completely unnecessary. Um, it, you see, I always think, and I think this with Bus Simulator 21 as well, you know, when you get all the little voices between stops, um, you know, talking about nonsense. I think that the little things like that are done by the developers when they're trying to detract from something else. And, you know, like Bus Simulator 21, it's no secret the fact that the physics are absolutely garbage in comparison to Wamsey. You know, they just are. And I think that the reason that they oh, put yeah. little things like that in is so that you think, oh, that's novel, and, uh, and it detracts from the poor quality physics. Now, again, what are they trying to detract from here? Um, you know, I'd, there is too many announcements like that. Just one every now and then. I think I've just pulled out on someone. They're going to drive through my bus. No, they're not. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I find things like that are, are trying to Jeez, cover oh up other God, things. Oh, like, stop oh, winging. Yeah. You know, they're, they're trying to cover up other things. Driver. I'm just happy driving my bus, you know, without little things like that. I, you know, I am. Really am. Um, you know, don't need it. And if we are going to have... Uh, oh, by the way, you're terminating early today. Uh, then, uh, you know, just a road traffic incident will suffice. Don't need it to be a fatality. Right, £8.90, £5.68, £50.70, £80.90. I not count for a second there. I think paying £1.10 for a... Uh, for t <laughs> £1.10 with a £10 note is absolutely ludicrous. Maybe it's things like that they're trying to cover up. I don't know. Just noticed it on the way past. Why are you not stood up? Oh, Omzi, you do annoy me so. Why are all these people stood up? I mean, in my mirror, that bus looks absolutely packed, doesn't it? Whereas it turns out, there's just nobody sat down. Oh, he's getting off. Get it off, the fella. But yeah, I really do wish that I had the, uh, the time and patience to make a map. But I'd, I'd honestly spend years on it, and I don't think it'd ever get released, because it's like the um, like the 185 for Train Simulator. I mean, that was been made for like seven or eight years, um, because he kept he kept literally thinking, oh, I'm not happy with that, and he went away and rebuilt it, and then and that, that could do with a bit of... And it got to the point where someone actually had to drag him away by his hair, kicking and screaming. Like, no, there's so much that needs to be improved, and... Uh, I, I think that I would never be happy with it, to be honest with you. Right, hang on, there we go. So this is the police headquarters. There we go. So they're all getting off. Ah, police headquarters. Turn your engines off so you don't disturb the residents. Uh, you live opposite a main road. You know, you, you live opposite a main road, so I don't think my engine's going to disturb you, but uh, okay. The, uh, the boss in control says turn your engines off. Oh, hang on. Pull back in. Flipping egg. Cheers for that, Prius. Should we get a nice little, uh, nice little photo? Oh, look at that. You know I'm a sucker for a nice photo. I don't actually know where we are in relation to, uh, you know, the other routes. There we go, so we turn round here. So I'm assuming that we would normally... Flipping heck, look at that! Oh, we need to pause that. Let's have a look what's going on down here. So we've got police cars, police accident, police accident, with sandbags and all. Flipping heck. A lot of people stood round, fire engines. Apparently a truck fallen over. Flipping heck. Oh, and he's hit a lamppost. And even the lamppost is on one side. Now, that is attention to detail. Uh, would that cause a fatality? Uh, hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe if he didn't have his seatbelt on. Uh, God, something must have gone on there. Maybe they were drag racing these lorries. Uh, why is there just loads of people stood around in the dual carriageway? Oh, dear. Put more attention to that than, uh, than he has done in so many other areas of the map. Flipping heck. 
Now, uh, th that's the sort of thing where I reckon he sat down and thought long and hard about that. Like, how can we make this look very believable? Uh, <laughs> you know, I like little attentions to detail like that. But, take it off the announcements, it's a fatality, guys. Road traffic collision will suffice, like I say. Rightio, so there we are. That is the end of the 38A. Is it the 38A? No, it's not the 83A. Get your uh, get your numbers right. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We are terminating early today. I feel like we've been shortchanged, but there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Flipping, I can eat together. Sorry, don't I? Uh, yes, if you have enjoyed today's video, then uh, then please do click that like button. It's always appreciated. Show your support for the video. And uh, that is a fantastic screenshot, actually. Now that I think about it, let's uh, let's have a bit of you. Lovely. Uh, yeah. If you have enjoyed today's video, click that like button. It's always appreciated. It helps the video do better. And if you want to see more Omsi, that's a surefire way to get more Omsi by uh, making Omsi popular. And uh, if you uh, are enjoying this and you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We're going to be systematically working our way through all of the Orchard County's routes and having a look at what's what and what's to see on each route. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of that. Other than that, as I say, thanks so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.